Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of The Short One. If you remember, the last one I did was with period dramas as well, and I did Charles Dickens. In this episode, I will be doing um, Charlotte Bronte and Eliz uh, Elizabeth Gaskell. So with Charlotte Bronte, it's basically just Jane Eyre. And I have a lot of versions of Jane Eyre. So you're just going to have to bear with me as I show them off. <laughs> so to begin with, we have Jane Eyre. Go figure. BBC. This is a longer version, too. Um, the film quality, again, is not the best in the world, but the acting is very well done. So it, it comes with two. Two DVDs. So with volume one, if you look at, open it up, comes with a nice little pamphlet of sorts. Just, uh, just shows you what's going on in the DVD. And then the DVD. And then next, it has this. It doesn't have a thing with Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe the, the one in there has for both DVDs. But anyway, here's the DVD for that one. Um, it's not my favorite version, but uh, I like Jane Eyre so much that <laughs> pretty much any version of Jane Eyre is my, you know, I enjoy it. So there's that one. Let me put these DVDs back in here. So just give me a moment. All right. This is my favorite version of Jane Eyre. I really enjoy it. It uh, starts Timothy Dalton and uh, this lady. <laughs> she is a really good actress. She plays Jane Eyre so well. I just cannot. I don't know the actress's name. I feel, I feel bad because she does such a good job. This one is just oh so beautiful. Um, the film film quality isn't that amazing I guess but man the acting is just so well thought out that they've they picked the perfect people to pay Minister Rochester and Jane Eyre and it just oh, man it's really good there's not much else I can say about it I just really enjoy this version and everybody I've talked to who's well acquainted with period dramas like myself really enjoys this version the most of Jane Eyre. As far as I know, again, I don't know the whole world, so I can't speak for everybody, but this is this is definitely my favorite version. Open it up. And that terrible two-sider. Uh, really do not like two-sided DVDs. And next we have this one. He he really is not that old in this one, trust me. Um, it's George C. Scott. You look right there. He was also in The Christmas Carol from last time, if you remember. Uh, this one, I think it might actually... Hmm. Skip a bit. I, I can't remember if it's this one or another one where they don't have the perfect... Uh, how do I put it? They didn't weren't able to recover all the the footage from it, so I I can't remember. But he's really not that old in the movie. They I don't know why they have the picture of him when he's older. I guess they couldn't take the trouble of finding one when he was younger. It's weird. Put it up. DVD. And next we have this Jane Eyre. The newest movie, Jane Eyre, uh, it's, it just really has the feel of Jane Eyre. I, just the music and the way they filmed it. It's a shorter version, so again, if you're somebody who does not want to watch the long versions and, and don't you don't have a lot of time and you just want to know the basic story plot of Jane Eyre, this is the one to go to. Uh, it, it keeps the feel of Jane Eyre, it keeps... The atmosphere of it is just really, really well done for a shorter film. I think Jane Eyre is best when it's longer because of character development. 
But then again, I'm like that with all period dramas. If it's longer, I usually find myself wanting to watch it more than the shorter ones. But I really, really enjoyed this version that they did. And DVD. And then this one is the newest version from BBC Masterpiece Theater in America that they did. And it is very well done. I, I enjoy this version too. I'm not so fond of Rochester in this one. Um, probably because I've just been <laughs> brainwashed and liking Timothy Dalton so much uh, that I just prefer him. I yeah, yeah, Maybe it's because I watched it when I was younger and so I'm just, my brain just likes it more. Who knows? Who knows why sometimes we like something better than the other, even though they're both really well done. This is very well done. The acting is very, very good. Um, I just, it, it, they did a good job, a really good job. So if, if you want a, a newer version that doesn't have so much uh, problem with filming, I suppose, this, this is the one to go to. And then this one is kind enough to do two DVDs instead of double-sided, which I'm like, thank you very much. It makes me a lot happier when they do that. And now on to Elizabeth Gaskell. I only have two of her videos because I've only really found two. This is North and South. I like to call it Pride and Prejudice and Dickens, you know, Jane Austen and Dickens mixed together. Because it's like Pride and Prejudice, but it has that darker, grittier feel that comes from Charles Dickens' uh, films. So just imagine Pride and Prejudice, but with more of a dramatic flair to it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it's really good. There's one other version I know of, and that actually has Patrick Stewart in it. Um, and he's wearing a toupee, so he has hair, and it actually looks real. It looks real. Um, and it's really good, but I, I don't know how to get it on DVD. Or, well, I guess I could do eBay or Amazon, but <laughs> I must admit, I just kind of watch it on YouTube. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> so, North and South. He does a really good job of playing Mr. Thornton. And he, he's actually uh, in The Hobbit. He plays Thorin. So Richard Armitage, if uh, I guess I didn't say his name, Richard Armitage. Yeah, that guy. Again, they were kind enough to listen to me and make a two DVD one instead of just one. So this is a longer version. The only two I know of are long versions. So I, I, I don't know if you can find a short version. So, this is your best bet, because it's so good. Oh, Elizabeth Gaskell, she really needs more people to do her stuff, because she just, I love her work. And the next one, and final one, is Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell. This adaptation is also done by Andrew Davies. I... Trust me, it's Andrew Davies. I, I can't see his name, but it is Andrew Davies. And he did an amazing job. The sad thing about this one is that uh, the the authoress died before she finished the book. But it was far enough along that they pretty much knew what the ending would be like. And, <laughs> my goodness, Andrew Davies did such a good job of making it feel like it was actually her that wrote that dialogue. It, it very good job. So if you open it up, it has kind of like this nice little flap opening thing, which I kind of like. I think it's quite unique and really fun. And then you have the index, all that's in there. So yeah, this is this is wives and daughters. Um, I really quite enjoyed this story. There's Bali. Right there. She's the main actress. I really like Molly because she's just kind of like a tomboy. And I I kind of can relate to that a bit more. And how she's just not what uh, is considered the most gorgeous, beautiful woman. Even though I think the actress, is, actress excuse me, is quite beautiful. But, of course, they have 
her sister, stepsister, I should say, all nice and decked out. And so it's kind of, it has lots of side stories and side plots. So it's, it's really quite hard to explain. Just watch it. Just, just trust me. You'll, you'll like it. If, well, if you like period dramas. <laughs> No duh, right? If you don't like period dramas, you might like it. I mean, everybody likes something from from a different genre that they never thought they would like sometimes. So anyway, great, great movie. So anyway, thank you everyone for watching this episode of the short one. And next time I will be showing off some of my real, I guess, based off of real life period dramas. Um... So yeah, thank you for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of the short one, and tune back again to see some more with period dramas or Pokemon or whatever I decide to do. Who knows? I might do something really weird. You never know with the short one. Say thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.